Hong Kong, one of the world's most dynamic urban environments. An intense cityscape featuring more than 40,000 buildings. Fast-paced, constantly changing, leading the way in building a better future. For more than 20 years, the Business Environment Council has been at the forefront of Hong Kong's sustainable development movement. There's a community of, of people that we brought together through, uh, through business interaction, through, through sharing the thought process. Okay? And in our organisation, we do quite a bit of advocacy as well. So it's not only about business. And critical to the BEC's success in reaching out to the community has been the ongoing support of the Hong Kong government. We need not just legislation, regulations or government policy, which we would sort of endeavour to do our utmost. We also need partners, people who will also be able to sort of bring the community along in pushing forward changes. From helping to establish BEAM, the Building Environmental Assessment Method in 1996, to its ongoing efforts in education on sustainable development, the BEC continues to lead the way in exploring new building technologies. By using the business case, we can promote sustainable development practices, we can promote a low carbon economy to the entire community and that the entire community obviously involves the business, the public and even green groups, NGOs. From its inception, the BEC has enjoyed tremendous support from the community. The Hong Kong Jockey Club was a key supporter from the outset. It's the power of these organisations with their people and what you can do educationally. So the Jockey Club, we're always interested in new initiatives to support in the community that we think are good for Hong Kong longer term. And I think this is a very classic example. HSBC was another key founding member. We've uh, continue to work very closely with BEC. It started with a very strong vision from our senior management to actually support the whole business sectors to be more aware of the risks associated with climate change and also looking at possibility, the opportunities associated with it also. The Swire Group was also an important founding member. The objectives that the BEC stood for represented very much uh, what the type of company we would like to be and it sent something that we should support. Uh, and I think it's the right decision. I'm very glad we're still supporting it. The BEC is headquartered in Kowloon Tong in the award-winning Jockey Club Environmental Building. The building opened in 1996 and its design and construction were intended to highlight the ideals of the council. Low environmental impact, energy efficiency and cutting-edge design and construction. When the building was built, it was quite an environmental landmark already. It was built quite environmentally sound at that time. Um, fast forward, we are already 15 years later. The, the building, compared to today's environmental standard, doesn't seem to be as significant. And in a city as urbanised as Hong Kong, the scale of that issue is enormous. There are more than 40,000 existing multi-storey buildings around in Hong Kong and these buildings continue to consume energy in a way that is not very efficient. There has to be a mechanism or there has to be a method to allow these existing buildings to be transformed into newer energy efficiency buildings. The planned transformation of the building will continue to reflect the BEC's commitment to sustainability and significantly expand its educational capabilities. A new entrance to the building's exhibition space will be created, a pedestrian walkway that will bring visitors directly into the BEC's educational centre. That educational centre will also be significantly expanded, extending its usability for exhibitions and community outreach. In addition, the existing auditorium will be enlarged, increasing audience capacity for the BEC's heavy schedule of industry forums, events and activities. The outcome of the building is that the building will be an environmental uh, resource centre. It will be a building that visitors will come to learn about what Hong Kong has done for an existing building to transform it to a high energy efficiency building. Educational materials will be developed as the project gets underway and the transformation project will be filmed from start to finish with a simple purpose in mind. Showcase what is a green building, how best it could achieve 
what kind of saving it can sort of uh, achieve. And I think it will help to sort of bridge the knowledge gap so that people will be aware that, well, out there, there is something that they can learn and pick up and carry, carry on the reform to their own buildings. The BEC's engagement with the community extends into the broader fabric of Hong Kong society. Its members share this commitment to corporate social responsibility. If you are, you know, anywhere where any business is, you have a stewardship for the community that you're involved in. Um, uh, building maybe is a, 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 a more obvious example of that, but any organisation has stewardship for, for, for the things that they sort of impact you in and, and the parts of the world that they touch which actually if we employ people we touch everyone don't we? It actually creates win-win-win for everybody. It's win for the environment, for the community, it's win for the organisations because we do more business, we have better business relationship and it's of course a win for our customers. Ongoing support from the BEC's member companies and its stakeholders make the council's work possible. Now there's so much knowledge that can be imparted there because the BEC, uh, being a full-time organisation now with a full-time staff, they can build up their knowledge of various um, initiatives. That knowledge can then be shared with their members who in turn can take it to their organisations and to their employees. And the transformation project is an important part of sharing that knowledge across the community. What we envision is the, the building will become that nexus of sustainability, that we use the building as that platform or, or the focus to draw people together. An educational experience that will showcase new technologies and a bold statement of Hong Kong's vision for a green future.